Enjoy. Mm. Fabulous. Buongiorno. My name is Will, and today we are going to make French fries in the science oven. So the ingredients quite simple. Some french fries, these are frozen. I really like the Idaho brand potatoes. I recommend them greatly. A little bit of olive oil spray right here. And then finally, some seasoning. I like Old Bay, but there are many others. Lowry's seasoned salt is another one. There are many others. Try out any of those. Um, and so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, of course, take the fries out of the bag and put them into our science oven. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go ahead and take the basket out of the science oven. You'll notice it is two pieces and there is a clear plastic switch. Underneath that clear plastic switch, there's a black button you can push. So this is actually the basket, right? Not unlike a fryer basket. And this fits within this larger sort of pan. Um, all of it goes right in. So the first thing we can do is, let's just take, uh, open our bag of potatoes. I think we're gonna cook them all because we have guests come in. Um, dump them in there. As such, that's a mountain of potatoes, I'll say too. Spread them out a little so they're evenly spread. Um, I'm gonna take this olive oil spray and just spray them ever so lightly. Kind of shake them around a little and mix it up. Maybe hit it one more time. Okay, and then, last but not least, We'll take our seasoning uh, salt. And really, if you don't like any of the seasoning salts, you can always just start with good old salt and pepper. They're very much uh, delicious and very common, and everyone seems to like them. So I'm gonna put a little of this in here, just like that. All right, mix it around a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace it back into the oven. Uh, there is a blue button right here that turns it on, the on and off switch. So what's nice about this, you'll see the panel, it tells you the number of minutes and uh, defaulted to 15, and then also the temperature defaulted to 350. However, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the French fry icon. Just like that, it's gonna start cooking. You'll see it is 380 degrees for 25 minutes. About halfway through this cycle, um, it will start to beep, and then it'll give us a warning to shake the fries. But let's go ahead and hit the play button, just like a, 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 a any kind of electronic device, and it's gonna start to cook. You can hear the motor running and the fan turning. All right. So we're about halfway through and you can hear the alarm sounding. Also flashing on the screen is the word shake. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this out for a minute. We'll take a look there. Uh, this is hot, it goes without saying, so you don't wanna to touch it. But uh, nevertheless, you can see the fries are starting to brown real nicely. We're gonna give it a good shake as instructed. And the reason we're doing this is simply to get them evenly cooked. So we'll give it a good shake and we'll put it right back in. Don't even have to hit the start button again. It automatically knows what you're doing and continues to cook. So we'll return in about 13 minutes to see how they look. All right, splendid. So it looks like we're finished over here. Let's take a look. Pop this out. Oh yeah, wow. I'm gonna shake them a little more myself, but you can see, look in there, they're nice and golden brown. But let's talk about if they weren't finished. 
you can put them back into the science oven and just add a little more time, right? You can hit play right now and keep an eye on it. It'll go for 15 minutes. That's much too long. Or you can do it manually using these controls. There's a time and temp, and you can adjust them with the positive sign and the negative sign. Uh, the temperature, if you recall, was about 380, but as long as you're in that range, you'll be fine. This uh, only goes up to, I think, 400, or maybe it is 380. It doesn't get real, real hot because it's kind of a smaller contained unit. Anyway, let's take these out. I have little tongs here. We can put some on a plate. This is a quite a mighty pile of fries, so I will definitely need some assistance eating them, which I don't think I'll be too hard to find around here. Um, and a word about this, obviously right now it's very hot, don't touch it, but go ahead and let it cool down, and then you can separate those parts again using this little switch. Um, rinse them off in the sink using uh, soap and water. Of course, you can use a sponge or a brush, very, very lightly though. This has that Teflon coating and you don't want to scratch that off. You don't need to put it in the dishwasher. You can do it by hand, it's pretty quick. Um, again, make sure you separate the pieces before you do that. So let's put that back in. Um, and we're gonna get ready for these over here for our next shot. Okay, splendid. So they cooled down a little bit and we're ready to go ahead and attack these. Uh, I've got some ketchup, of course. Got a little hot sauce, of course. I just recently bought this. This is both ketchup and jalapeno red in one. So let's give it a try. Put it on there. They've cooled a little bit. Bon appetito. Enjoy. Mmm. Fabulous.